Hi everyone, Colin Whitenack, Colin and Company, powered by Keller Williams. Today we're doing real estate in a cold and snowy Denver, so I hope you're staying warm out there. If you're paying attention to local news this week, you probably heard that in and out is officially coming to Colorado. They got the go ahead to build their first restaurant in Colorado down in Lone Tree. All right, so this California-based restaurant, it's a fast food burger joint. Um, they're anticipating it being very busy. Apparently they're building a massive drive-through, all right? I've only had one experience with in and out It was about 20 years ago, all right? I flew down to California to see this girl. We'll call her Stephanie, all right? So Stephanie and I, we went through the drive-through of in and out my first night there because of course she was like, you've never had an out burger. We gotta get you in an out burger. So we went through the drive-through and we got whatever their, their classic burgers are and we ate them and here is all I remember is onions. All right, I finished this burger and I felt like I could taste onions and I reeked of onions for the next two days that I spent with Stephanie down there. All right, so it obviously didn't work out with her and it's probably because I reeked of onions. Thank you, In-N-Out Burger. Okay, so today, even though this California restaurant is invading, we're gonna talk about um, great Colorado-based restaurants that are still around and these all started in Colorado. Okay, the first, which you might not think about very often, but it's the most direct competitor to In-N-Out Burger. This is Good Times Burgers and Custard. All right, it's mostly a drive through restaurant. It started in 1987 up in Boulder. It was a spinoff from a gourmet sit-down burger restaurant called Round the Corner. They're not around anymore, but I remember um, going there when I was a kid. If you haven't been to Good Times, I like their burgers, but their wild fries are the best. All right. Um, one of the ones that everybody thinks of, and it was probably the thing, first thing that popped to your mind when I started this video and told you what it was about, is Chipotle. Chipotle, the place with the big burritos, all right? That started here um, over on Evans near DU in 1993. They've now expanded. They have 2,000 restaurants. They're international, and you can get a wrapped up burrito just about anywhere. Not far from a lot of those, you will probably, of a lot of those, you'll probably see a Noodles and Company. That is also a Denver-based company. They started in Cherry Creek in 1995. They now have a ton of restaurants, not as many as Chipotle, but my understanding is they had a lot of the same board members in the late 90s and early 2000s, and so they ended up in a lot of the same shopping centers, and they're still kind of close to each other. All right, more big burritos, illegal Pete's, late at night, kind of drunk, Illegal Pete's, man. They started in 1995 in Boulder also. A lot of stuff from the mid-90s here. Qdoba also started here in 95 at 6th and Grant. They were actually called Zuma Fresh Mexican. Um, apparently there was a trademark issue, so they became Zteca and started to expand. Apparently there was another trademark issue with that name and they eventually became Qdoba in 1999. So a lot of name changes, all right? Everybody's favorite in Denver for breakfast is also a Denver-based company. It's Snooze AM Eatery. I believe they have 37 locations now, the original one down on Park Avenue. That place is awesome. And a lot of these restaurants for Snooze, you still get an hour plus wait. So really popular. All right, some honorable mentions. Smash Burger. All right, terrific hamburger. Um, it was started in Denver in 2007 by the guy who previously invented the stuffed crust pizza for Pizza Hut. So you know that guy knows how to do some amazing stuff. Mod Market started here in Boulder in 2009, and Snarf's my favorite place. If you're a vendor for Keller Williams, you know, bring us lunch, bring us Snarf's. They started in 1996 in Boulder, and now they have about 20 restaurants, and they actually just opened a Snarf's Burger Bar down there on Federal as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I hope it was fun. Don't forget to support your Colorado restaurants. Also, if you wanna be a reading partner, help a child kindergarten through fourth grade catch up on his or her um, literacy skills, check out readingpartners.org, find Colorado, volunteer, donate something. If you want a direct connection, let me know and I will put you in touch with the volunteer coordinators. Thanks again, I hope you're staying warm out there and we'll see you soon. Thank you.